Okay, moving on to our last two categories here, evaluation summaries and completed evaluations and forms. Um, so just for this tutorial, I opened up the dates once again, like I have with all the other tabs. Uh, it was the only thing that I can find that actually had an example. So because there's so very few um, examples for these two in here, I'll be giving you a peek of my own records just to kind of show you what they're supposed to be. Um, we don't really... We didn't really use these uh, tabs as much anyways, but if it's just to see if something's been completed or if you just want to see your scores overall um, from all of your uh, reports, evaluations, they'll be here. So uh, we're going to click on Evaluation Summaries. And it's going to bring you to this page. Once again, it's just the same as the filters on this page. It's just more in depth. Um, I am going to open it up to all sites just to make sure that um, it shows in all users. Uh, but, you know, when you're logging on to your own thing, it's going to have your name and you can choose, um, you know, which evaluator you want to look at and uh, which site you want to be at. So um, the evaluator is going to be your CI at that specific hospital. And um, the site, of course, is going to be that hospital that you're wanting to look at. Um, in this case, uh, you know, you would choose your name. And then if you wanted to look at all your hospitals and all your sites, I mean, all your um, CIs and all your hospitals and everything that they've said, uh, this is what you would put. Um, of course, you'd open up the dates as well. So uh, we don't really have to change anything here. So we're just going to click Show Report. And this is going to come up. So like I said, there's only one more here. It says no more records to show. Um, so this is an example of a bi-weekly progress report. Uh, basically, every two weeks at your clinical site, you're going to be getting a progress report from your clinical instructor. Um, sometimes they'll put comments, um, but I've only had the uh, fortunate um, experience of having one CI give me comments. And, um, you know, I believe it. Comments help because it gives you like an idea of what you need to work on. Um, like this comment would be, you know, professionalism, you know, needs to smile more with patients, be more welcoming, that kind of thing. Um, so this is just kind of like a constructive criticism uh, report. Um, and then it's a total score out of 50, you know, but in this case is a passing, you know, and you'll just see most of the time, you know, you really want to aim for all of the time, but just depending on your CI, who knows what you'll get, um, even if you improve. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so if there were more, um, it would open up through these dates, but because there's only one in this example account, it only shows one, but it would be this same form and you could scroll and scroll and scroll and you keep going and it would show, um, every single progress report with every single comment, um, through the dates that you assigned. And then, like I said in the beginning here, if you wanted to change, you know, if you want to see a specific, uh, clinical instructor, or if you wanted to see a specific site, um, in that sense, but that's when I put the template title of biweekly progress report. Um, so we can actually change it. These are all the evaluation forms that are going to be available um, through the website. Uh, some might not be used at all. It's pertaining to each student in particular. So um, just like with the biweekly progress report, you know, you could choose, um, uh, you know, orientation to clinical facility, you know, and it would bring up those reports and those scores and everything. But like I said, there's not really an example um, on here for me to show you uh, what it would look like. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's this status. So it, it would, I mean, um, it would bring up in this kind of style. So now going back to reports and bringing up completed evaluation forms. So I still have it open here. Um, it's pretty much the same exact thing, except in a different, um, format. Uh, so I have biweekly progress report again, because that's the only one that has an example on here. And, um, Evaluator, once again, you can change uh, which CI you want to be looking at, who gave you the scores, and of course, subject would be you. Um, so when you, you still have to click apply here on this page for some reason, even though on this page you set all your parameters. When you come here, it still wants you to click apply. So just make sure you have all your parameters correct and hit apply. And once again, it's going to bring up that one example of that biweekly progress port, but it's going to be in this style. So it's, um, just going to be like a list um, in this, and then you could click on the individual if you want. It would bring up that individual report. 
Um, and once again, you can go up here, change any of the specific forms that you were looking for. So let's say you need to look for CRM equipment evaluation. It would do the same thing, um, but just for that specific report. And uh, yeah, there's nothing really to add. Like I said, we don't really, um, didn't really look at this section. It's only to see if maybe something still needed to be completed um, or if you thought something was completed and you just wanted to check to make sure. Um, you know, there's a, a rubric here to kind of tell you what each uh, one means, um, but I'm just going to give you a quick peek at mine just to kind of show you. I already have the tabs open uh, just to kind of show you the different formats. So this is if I, you know, went to evaluation summaries. So I'm going to show you that one real quick. Um, so this is the first tab and I'm just going to keep scrolling through. It's just going to show every single um, bi-weekly progress report or whatever form that you choose. Um, you know, in that area. So that's the first tab. And then this is going to be that second tab that I was showing you here. Um, completed evaluation forms if you opened up here and it's just going to be every single one. But that's just for the parameters that I set up um, on my own account, which was from the very beginning to the current date and um, for all all CIs that I had and uh, of course myself. So those are just these two tabs. Um, nothing really to go on from there. So on to the next.